hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to find templates in CapCut let's begin finding and using CapCut templates is a great way to speed up your editing process as they provide pre-designed styles and effects that you can customize to your needs for example if you're using the CapCut on your mobile device be it an Android or an iOS I want you to hover to the home page we're in as you can see at the bottom part of your screen, there should be an option that says templates. I want you to simply click on it. What will happen is you would be forwarded to this limitless kind of template. All right. You can, of course, um, hover to where you want to uh, search for. All right. And then basically, once you find the template that you wanted, just click the use template button right here. And you would be forwarded to attach anything that will be part of that template for example i'm going to be using my photos i'm going to using this loading effects right here you see you can add your um, audio if you want right here you can use the recommended audio from the uh, template original the mountain a day in my life young happen a lot you can also extract the audio if you want from the video and if you can also add in sound if you wanted but for now, we're going to be choosing that. And once I am happy with the template that I have worked with, you just want to click the export button on the top right corner. You can save to device with CapCut watermark or you can save and share to TikTok without the uh, CapCut watermark. So these are going to be your options. In terms of the exporting options, obviously you can choose the 1080 to 720 depending on the file size. Sometimes you have an option to export it in 4K. And again, you can also choose the uh, smart hdr which converts your clip to an hdr video and click the done button all right and then if you click the x button right here what will happen is it would ask you if you want to save this draft to your project or discard i want you to click on save and then when you go here you would notice that you have an option to rename the project all right so this is going to be like template And click on confirm and of course from there you can add more elements along the way if you wanted all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one